We're checking in now on Business News with Mike Apple. And Mike, we've seen it on social media, Sears Canada facing a backlash when it comes to how they're handling this liquidation. Yeah, it comes just as the company began its liquidation sales at those 60 stores they're looking to close on Friday. Last week, uh, Tammy, good morning. The um, boycott Sears Canada, though, gaining some traction on uh, social media because what people are upset with was the uh, court-approved plan by Sears to pay retention bonuses to executives at the same time. They're cutting almost 3,000 jobs and cutting off the severance packages, you know, defined benefit pension plans. That sort of thing. So it's the PR scenario that Sears Canada is facing now. They, they want to see more customers, obviously. They want to exit bankruptcy protection later this year as a sort of a reborn brand. Can you do that if you don't have any customers? So they're going to have to deal with that. It's going to be interesting to see exactly how this plays out as uh, Sears Canada currently is shopping for a buyer. Saudi Arabia is planning more production cuts. They're, the cartel OPEC is meeting in St. Petersburg, Russia today. And uh, the Saudis are saying they want to cut production further, stabilize the price for oil. They want to get the other member nations complying with the current production cut agreement. So we're seeing the price for oil up by a percent so far this morning, back above $46 per barrel on international markets. And uh, stock markets trending, well, so far this morning, lower because we've got so many currencies not just the Canadian dollar, but the euro, the British pound, they're all up against the U.S. dollar. This week, we've got a midweek decision on interest rates coming from the U.S. Central Bank. That's going to have the currency markets trading uh, more, typical, more volatile, I guess, than the uh, Canadian dollar starting the day, close to 80 cents U.S.